Exploring the phrase, under a spotlight, a guide to English idioms. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating English phrase, under a spotlight. This idiom is widely used in both formal and informal settings, and understanding it can really help you in comprehending English conversations and texts. Let's dive in and illuminate this phrase. In this section, we explore the literal meaning of being under a spotlight. A spotlight is a strong beam of light that shines on a particular area, often used in theaters or during presentations to focus attention on a person or object. When someone or something is under a spotlight, they are in the center of attention, brightly illuminated while everything else is relatively dark. This literal understanding sets the foundation for grasping the idiomatic meaning. Now, let's look at the idiomatic meaning. When used figuratively, under a spotlight, means being the center of attention, scrutiny, or focus. This can happen in various situations, during a meeting, in a media story, or in a social setting. It implies that all eyes are on the person or subject, and they may feel exposed or closely examined. To understand how to use this phrase, let's see some examples. 1. During the press conference, the CEO was under a spotlight, answering tough questions. 2. The new policy has put the government under a spotlight for its impact on the environment. 3. As the lead in the play, she was literally and figuratively under a spotlight. These sentences show how the phrase can be used in different contexts. Understanding synonyms can broaden your usage of similar phrases. Some synonyms for under a spotlight include in the limelight, at the center of attention, under scrutiny, in focus, these phrases can often be used interchangeably, depending on the context. I hope this video has shed light on the phrase, under a spotlight, and how it can be used in English. Remember, idioms like this add color and depth to your language skills. Keep practicing, and you'll be shining bright in your English conversations. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.